Welcome everyone. So today we are going to understand why the answer for this is not supposed to be 2 by 3. See, a lot of people think that this 2 and 2 can get cancelled. So answer should be 2 by 3. No, that is not how this works. See, it's very important that whenever you have this, this entire fraction is supposed to be known as what? A mixed fraction. And if you have a mixed fraction, it is mandatory that you convert it into its improper fraction form. That means an improper fraction is basically where the numerator is greater than the denominator. So how does that happen? See this, the denominator continues to remain the same. The first step is to <coughs> make the numerator. Okay, now the numerator is what just multiply the denominator with the integer part. So 3 multiplied by 2 and add the numerator over here. So which is 2. So this becomes 8 upon 3 divided by 2. Now, whenever you have fractions involved in division, you will follow the rule of KCF, where K stands for keeping the first fraction as it is. C stands for changing the division sign to multiplication. F stands for flipping or taking reciprocal of 2, which is 1 by 2. So, here this is 4. So, answer is 4 by 3. Now, kids, see, understand, take here also this is an improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator. So, in order to write it in its mixed form, what you do is you actually start dividing. So, this is 1's are and you are left with 1. So, what happens is, see, again, in mixed fraction, the denominator will remain the same. Whatever is your quotient becomes your integer part and whatever is your remainder becomes your numerator. So, answer for this one is 1, 1 by 3. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.